We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation. How you used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, let's move out. 
We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. No problem. Got it. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party! For the Republic! This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. No! 
Bastel is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastel alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Sure. Something behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Carth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. Ah! <laughs> 
You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. And we're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever gonna wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod, do you remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. We've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry, we're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. I don't, but Bastil is young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malak and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Bastil is gonna need her help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important. But if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you, do you, do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? Good. 
We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastille any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. And we can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out.